up YouTube this is Jay Millionaire another quick review of one of my shoes out of my collection um, as you can see these are the cement threes um, 2011 release of course they came with uh, old school Jumpman red and red on the box it's like a tribute back to the OG boxes with the cement print box um, they came with uh, elephant print paper which is a nice touch. Also, they kind of went back with uh, the little outlay of what the shoe's, you know, contents or what it's made out of and air units and soles and such. Nice touch. Instead of a retro carp, it's still pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's not too much to say about these shoes. They weren't a really hard release. You know, I'm pretty sure everybody got them that wanted them. Hopefully you did. Um, classic shoe. Um, they came with the uh, Jump In Air tag instead of the Nike air but you know nice touch trying to take it back to its roots um, whole shoes made up of tumbled white leather you know pretty good quality not as good as um like you know anything the OG's or retros but it's still pretty nice um, besides that it has a like a flat you know smooth leather and then you know of course the elephant print which is infamous with the threes and the toe box in the rear um, the tongue on these it's a white tongue with the red jump man the tongue's actually a lot softer than the, the shoe itself, but you know, it's pretty cool. Only thing um, about these that I'm kind of like upset about is that the tongue doesn't sit up as high as it's supposed to, like on the previous retros. And of course the OGs, but I mean, whatever, it's cool. Insole on these is a red insole with a black jump man. And um, the thing they're starting to do in Jordans is uh, size, you know, little sticker. You know, of course these are DS, um, having, you know, had a reason to wear them just yet. Probably won't wear them for a really long time, especially not, you know, until summer, maybe then. I don't know. We'll see. Midsoles on these is the white midsole with the black little hints in the back. Of course, these are infamous threes um, midsole, which, you know, tend to crack after time. Of course, as you can see, these are perfectly fine, but um, I guess we'll see after a couple wears how they're holding up, but hopefully they don't crack too easy. I'm not sure. Um, air unit on this is super clean. It comes with like a grayish, I believe, a gray um, air unit. You know, classic. Bottoms of these are, you know, the, the classic threes with the red toe. Um, gray sole with the white right here with the Jordan. Um, outline in red and the Jordan in red. Of course, the previous retros was just full red, but, you know, whatever. The stars in these are, you know, sticking out more, you know noticeable than the previous retros not good or bad just stating obvious but yeah um pretty classic shoe can't go wrong with them i can't wait until the black cements come out later in the year um right before the uh, the um, concords but yeah pretty nice shoe hopefully every got everyone got one that wanted them because uh, like i said they weren't too hard to get but yeah i'm just showing my collection day by day and Yep, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will be showing more of my shoes. All right, peace out, YouTube.